Hello everybody, hope you're all having a great day. Today I'll be showing you how to bridge your assets to Core Chain. I actually made a video last week on how to stake your Core Tokens, which I showed how to bridge your assets, but I didn't realize that a lot of people didn't even know how to do this in the first place. So I'm just making this quick, simple tutorial video on how to do it so everybody knows. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is come to bridge.coredow.org. It'll be linked below in the description. Then you're gonna scroll all the way down to go to transfer here in the bottom left. Click on that, it brings you to this website. First thing you're gonna do is connect your wallet. I'm using metamask in your wallet see that there's different networks up here i'm using the ethereum mainnet you'll also need the core chain network added if you don't have that right now i've made a video on that in the past it's going to pop up in the top right of the screen right now so click on that and watch that video if you need to add the core chain network but if not let's get right into it you're going to click on the from tab for me i'm using ethereum so that's what i'll click and i'm using tether to send over so i'm going to make sure usdt is selected then you're going to input how much money you want to transfer over and click add token to your wallet this brings up a pop-up in which you'll need to switch the network. Click yes. Add the token as well. All right, then transfer your tokens. You're going to have to switch network and accept the gas fees as well. All right, now you wait to submit the transaction. All right, it's complete just like that. You can view it on the Block Explorer if you please. All right, just like that, it's complete. So you're going to want to check your wallet. Go to the Core Chain Network. And there you go. I already had 10 USDT, so now it's up to 12. Perfect. And that's it. It's that simple to bridge over your assets to the Core Chain Network. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I'll be doing a lot more tutorials in the future, so make sure to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please slap a like on it. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.